Well, we are back in the kitchen with Susan Lockman, and uh -huh. we have basically finished our polenta. So yes. remind folks what we did here and how long we cooked it here. Okay, this was a slow pour of dry grits into boiling water, and that has been uh, on the stove for a good 20 minutes. And uh, you have to take your time with polenta, and uh, the key is continuous stirring. Yeah, okay, and look so at how thick that is. It's gotten really, really good and thick. Now it goes into a, a, a baking dish. Okay. And um, and that's it, right? Yes. And what happens there is you just let it set up, uh, and and uh, you don't what, cook it or bake it or anything. You don't anything. have to do anything else to it. You let it set up and. As we mentioned earlier, polenta could be uh, sweet or savory. I've made a batch of polenta and then slice it off, brown it in a right. skillet, and put um, syrup on top okay. for breakfast. Okay, I'm turning this up here. What I have in this... Now we're making a mushroom this sauce, This is right? a mushroom sauce. Okay, so this is my uh, happy uh, garlic in olive oil. I'm going to turn it up. Um, those of you who work with mushrooms know it's a very uh, flavorful vegetable. It cooks up fast. And uh, I'm just going to pour these in. Hear that great little sizzle. Okay. I'm going to give them a little salt. Just what temperature did you have this? Uh, this at? is a good medium high. Okay. Yeah, this is a good medium high. I want it to happen fast. I'll put some salt on it. And I'm going to use this great spoon. So you can see mushrooms. So just kind of mix it all up. Yeah. Get that olive oil just in stir, there. Stir, stir, stir. Uh, mushrooms have a lot of moisture to them, mm -hmm. which is why I like uh, mushrooms are really good always in a sauce mm -hmm. because um, the natural moisture in the vegetable itself, when simmered down, makes its own juice. Oh, so how long uh -huh. does this kind of take then, too? Uh, this will take just a few minutes. Okay. And um, we just keep stirring, want to get the, um, everything well distributed. Right. And so uh -huh. is there a certain type of mushroom that you would recommend for this? Sauce. Um, I'm using portobellos. I think they have more flavor than okay. the white mushrooms, but a mix of mushrooms would also really mm -hmm. be good. So, well, especially um, in a sauce, too, you know, oh, all yes. those different flavors. Uh, I think would be mushroom great. Can, this is a mushroom sauce, but mushrooms in a tomato sauce are mm -hmm. great. Uh, once again, uh, you can, uh, I want the natural juice because that's where the flavor is. Mm -hmm. If it's not enough, then I can add a little bit of bouillon. Right. I can add a little bit of the chicken so stock. So you can always add things, which is great. And that's just yes. one of the, you know, skills that people are going to be learning this weekend oh, on yeah. Saturday, right, Susan? That's right. Yeah, all right. Well, so make sure you call and reserve your spot in the Rustica Kachina class happening this Saturday. There's two different times, too. Yes. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. Give them a call right there. Reserve your spot. Also, we want to remind folks that there's also a Valentine's Day class that yes. you're going to be doing. Yes. Be your own Valentine. And that's happening on Sunday, February 11th. Give them a call right there. Reserve your spot as well. Susan, okay. thanks so much. When we come back, we'll put it all together. Yes, we will. Looking forward to We're it. Thicken this up and pour it on top.